Okay, this is uh, kind of one of those defining moments, and uh, let's have a discussion about this later tonight. I've got to go out and do some normal stuff today, so I'm making this video early. Um, I saw a video today about one of YouTube's top 20 photographers, I think a top 10 actually, and uh, I see this person adjusting a shutter speed when doing a type of, I'll explain this later tonight, doing a type of photography and uh, the shutter speed didn't change anything and this person was confused uh, as to why when changing the shutter speed the exposure didn't change. Now, look at, now I may be kind of rude, I've been called salty and rude and all sorts of stuff and look, I've uh, I, you know, I'm not going to deny the fact that I've attacked people for saying stupid stuff on YouTube. Um, let's get this straight here. Uh, I want you to see, think about asking the top 10 or top 20 YouTube photographers this simple question. And I can guarantee you, not a single one of them will be able to come up with an answer for you unless they go look in a book or something. They might actually have the answer for you because they'll go look it up and then they'll come back with the answer because they won't know the answer. In other words, you're actually able to ask them this face to face. They would not know the answer. Uh, ask them this simple question. Uh, when is it that shutter speed affects uh, one type of light but it doesn't affect another type of light? Because I saw a famous YouTube photographer I've been doing this for over 20 years. I don't care if people think I'm a hack or just some sort of fat, tattooed schmuck. I mean, I don't give a damn. You know, it's about giving people accurate information. Okay? When does shutter speed affect one type of well, light is light, right? Sure. Now, exposure, as I've said over and over again, is gain in time. Okay? Now, there's two types of light. There's a type of light that flows, and there's another type of light that kind of is uh, like a... Uh, well, let's just make it really simple. It's kind of like a gunshot. Yeah, so we got one type of light that flows, which is affected by shutter speed, and another type of light that, uh, you know, is like Speedy Gonzales. It's like a gunshot. It doesn't matter how fast or slow your shutter speed is, and this all develops into discussing tonight lighting ratios and why they're so incredibly important. You know, that is, if you want to get the proper, proper type of exposure, especially when doing a portraiture or... Uh, uh, whether it's indoor or outdoor, I mean, ambient lighting is not really important when you're talking about indoor portraiture, of course. Uh, <laughs> you got no sunrise pouring through the window, right? Um, you know, this kind of stuff amazes me. And I said, if you were to ask these people face to face, they wouldn't have an answer for you. You know, stuff like this is so, I mean, I would have I had to take tests on this 20 years ago. That these people, and I know, I know for a fact, the four of them, only got into photography, and that's no fault, no big deal. I know for a fact that four of them only got into photography about 10 or so years ago. But you would think they would have figured out by now that, uh, obviously that's not the case, since uh, someone with a huge sponsor, you know, a huge corporate sponsor is uh, trying to adjust the exposure by messing with the shutter speed on the camera. Okay? Shutter speed only affects one sort of light. Well, you said that, ex that uh, exposure is a gain in time, time being a shutter speed. That's true. You see, there's two constrictors of different types of illumination. Shutter speed constricts ambient illumination and aperture constricts... What do you think aperture constricts? What do you think uh, aperture constricts? Hmm, I don't know. What, what, what would, what would, what would uh, messing with your aperture constrict. I don't know. And there's a type of light that flows like water where shutter speed is vitally important and there's another type of constrictor for proper exposure that is a curbing gunshot illumination. Gunshot light. I don't know what that would be. See, now here's a hardcore fact. Whether you think I'm the biggest a-hole on YouTube for photography, and some people comment that. I mean, I, actually, all the YouTube photographers, they have all got hate. I've got haters, and I don't give a damn, you know. The real question is, am I right? And on this, of course, I'm 100% right, and there's nobody that's going to step forward and say I'm wrong. Nobody. This is written in stone. This is also <laughs> this is also a reason why light meters for stroboscopic work uh, work in, uh, you know, they're not aperture priority, but uh, shutter priority. 
In other words, it's going to tell you how to constrict your aperture rather than how to constrict your shutter speeds. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, light meters, uh, this is kind of why you can't uh, work an aperture priority on a light meter. You know, you sit there and dial it in and, uh, and then take a, take a reading and then uh, adjust uh, your shutter speed accordingly. No, it's the other way around. You set a shutter speed and it's going to tell you how to constrict your aperture. Because one type of light flows and shutter speed whoosh, cuts it off. And another type of light is like, like a gunshot. And messing with your shutter speed. Uh, no, I don't care how fast or how slow your shutter speed uh, is... The other type of illumination is like a, a gunshot going off, and no matter how fast your shutter speed is, it's not going to curb the light. For some reason I can't actually hit the button on my, uh, it timed out on me. <laughs> yeah, that, that sort of stuff burns me, you know? It's like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's no different than people following a cult or something like that. It's like, well, so there's a crazy cult in Orlando that's got God knows how many millions of followers. It's like, well, I don't know. I guess it's just the nature of human stupidity. Well, when I see someone with a huge corporate sponsor uh, on YouTube and one of the top ten YouTube photographers trying to um, adjust exposure by messing with shutter speed, I'm, I, I go like, are you kidding me? Really? Really? But it's not just this person. I mean, I know for a fact that the top 20 or top 10 YouTube photographers, if you were to ask them this question, is like, is they walk up to him and say, hey, you know, uh, when is it that shutter speed affects exposure and when is it that shutter speed does not affect exposure? You'll stump them. You will stump them. They don't have, they don't know. And that, you know, that would have got, you know, would have got me a failing grade back in photography school. So, yeah, people are taking their advice, right? Okay. So, yeah, if people like this are, like, sponsored by huge corporations or they're writing books on photography, but they can't tell you if you were to ask them this question. And I know this question would stump them. I'm 100% certain this question would stump them. Unless you ask them this question via email or a comment on their YouTube page, then they'll go look up the answer, and then they'll probably come back with the right answer. They won't know. It's like, well, I better look this up before I answer it. <laughs> yeah, these are the, some some of the same people that said that light meters are throwback technology. It's like really, I uh, name me a camera that can calculate lighting ratios. No, you can't do it. You gotta have a uh, light meter. It's the reason they exist. You can't. There's a lot of stuff you can do with a light meter. You can't do it with your camera. So let's talk about that tonight, and let's uh, clear things up. I like to clarify things, but just think about that. You know. Uh, when is it that shutter speed affects one sort of light, but it not, does not affect? And this is really important. It's important for understanding how exposure works. It's under, uh, very important for understanding lighting ratios. And these other people, they don't know anything about it. There's not a single top 10, top 20 YouTube photographer that has ever made a video on this topic. Not one! And I was spurned to make this video in the series of videos tonight, maybe two or so. Uh, because I saw someone trying to adjust their exposure using a uh, uh, artificial illumination tool by adjusting their shutter speed, and uh, yeah, that don't work. Because one type of light is like a flow of water, and another type of light is like a shotgun burst. Gunshot. Okay? Thank you for watching, and catch you later. Stuff like this amazes me, but I guess it shouldn't amaze me anymore. You know, it's not startling. It's kind of the same stuff I've said all along. Whatever. Bye.